Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, which is x raised to the power 6 equals to 4 raised to the power 6. We take 4 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side, and we have x raised to the power 6 minus 4 raised to the power 6 and equals to 0 here. Next step, we can write this as x raised to the power 3, 4 raised to the power 2. As 2 times 3 here give us 6 minus also 4 raised to the power 3, 4 raised to the power 2, and equals to 0 here. Then this follows what we have a squared minus b squared, which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. Now this here is standing as x raised to the power 3, and b standing as. 4 is to power 3. That is, here, yeah, what we have becomes x raised to power 3 plus 4 is to power 3 into brackets, open bracket, x raised to power 3 minus 4 is to power 3 plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then, here we have two possible cases. The first one, x plus 4, x raised to power 3 plus 4 is to power 3 equals to 0, or we have x raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, this volume we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket, open bracket, a square plus ab plus b square. That is, yeah, this becomes x plus 4 into bracket, open bracket, x square plus 4x plus 4 square plus bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases. And also before then we can write it as x plus 4 into bracket, open bracket, x square plus 4x plus 4 squared as 16 plus bracket equals to 0 here. That is, here we have two possible cases. The first one, x plus 4 equals to 0, or we have x squared plus 4x plus 16 equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 4 which is a real solution here. Then here, we have a quadratic equation where A equals to 1, B equals to 4, and C equals to 16. Then, applying the quadratic formula, which is X equals to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC over 2A. Then what we have here becomes x equals to minus 4. Sorry, this is on this formula here. Excuse me, we have minus here. When it is plus here, so we middle one minus. So this is also minus, and this is also minus. And here also we have minus and my minus b here, b is minus, and we have minus, minus 4 into brackets, plus or minus square root of, minus 4 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 16, then over 2 times 1, that is, from here we have x equals to minus times minus, that's plus, we have 4, plus or minus square root of minus 4 square that's 16 then minus you can still write 4 times 1 times 16 as 4 times 16 over 2 at this year we have x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is common here we have 16 into brackets 1 minus 4 then all over 2 which implies we have x equals to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times 1 times 
times 1 minus 4 minus 3 all over 2. I will separate this to 16 is 4. Take it out. And we have x equals to 4 plus or minus 4 root minus 3. We have root 3 high. Then all over 2 here. That is, I separate this as x equals to 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3 high over 2. That is here we have x equals to 4 over 2, that's 2, and plus or minus. Also, here we have 2 roots v r. That is here we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into bracket, open bracket, a squared plus ab plus b squared that is here we have x minus 4 into brackets then open bracket x squared plus 4x plus 4 squared plus bracket equals to 0 here that is this is the same thing as x minus 4 into brackets open bracket x squared plus 4x plus 4 squared that's 16 Close bracket equals to zero here. Then here we have two possible cases. The first one x minus four equals to zero. Or we have x squared plus four x plus sixteen equals to zero here. That is here we have x equals to four, which is also a real solution here. Then here also we have a quadratic equation. We are here equals to 1, b equals to 4, and c equals to 16. Applying the quadratic formula, also we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 16 over 2 times 1. Which implies here we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared, that's 16, minus 4 times 1 times 16, same thing as 4 times 16, then all over 2. That is, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 is common here, we have 16 into bracket 1 minus 4 all over 2. Then this becomes x equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times 1 minus 4 is minus 3 all over 2, which implies when we separate this root 16 is 4, we have x equals to minus 4 plus or minus 4, then root minus 3, that's root 3 high all over 2. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to minus 4 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 3 i over 2. That is here, this becomes x equals to minus 4 over 2, that's minus 2 plus or minus. Here also we have 2 root 3 i. That is also, we have two complex solutions here and therefore, all together, we have six solutions in this given problem. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and also two complex solutions here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give a thumbs up, and put a comment. And see you next class. Bye for now.